This man is one of the country's most renowned pastors. He has a megachurch with 30,000 in membership. He's written over 50 books, 15 of them on the New York's best-selling list. He is esteemed by the Christian community. He has received many accolades for his service in the name of Jesus. Most people would say, if everybody else accepts him, then he must be true. But is Bishop T.D. Jakes a false teacher? Now one could easily state that if the world is loving him, then that should be the alarm by itself. The Bible tells us that the world does not love Christ. This also means that the world won't love his followers either, especially those placed in a role of authority to teach the word of God in truth and in spirit. This fact has been proven to be true consistently throughout history with the many martyrs that have been killed in the name of Christ. This world does not accept that there is only one way to redemption and to heaven. Anyone holding true to that fact will not be accepted by the world who rejects it. So why is T.D. Jakes? I'm not talking about the general church public. I'm talking about the influencers of this world. The ones that are steering the world in the direction for the rule of the Antichrist. Why would they be promoting someone who pushes doctrine away from what they've been promoting? Why would they now change history and start allowing the true gospel to be understood by the masses through their networks and funds? They wouldn't. It's much easier for them to take a man already trusted by the mass community and give him a larger platform. A platform where he's able to twist the doctrine. But because the masses do not have a full grasp of sound doctrine, they're easily manipulated to accept the lie. People do sell their souls for fame and fortune. The goal is to change the thought of believers not grounded in strong doctrine and stray them away because of worldly authority. The message seems pure, but it's purely satanic in New Age philosophy. Now how T.D. Jakes started out and what he preached about in the past, I cannot comment on. Was he ever sincere and true to sound doctrine? I don't know, and I make no claims on it. I only reference him on Truth Unedited because of his new platform and affiliations that's placing massive deception throughout this country and world. My goal is to break bondage, bondage of false doctrine and false teaching that Jesus Christ spoke about and warned his disciples. As T.D. Jakes has gained popularity through associations with Oprah Winfrey, the last three U.S. presidents, and Hollywood, his influence has grown exponentially. He has been praised as the most influential African American of our time, according to The Atlantic. He is now mainstream with the ability to influence the masses that trust him because of his supposed role and title. He is the epitome of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Talking as an authority figure when it comes to the things of God, people trust that this man is spreading the true gospel. Take a look at this Jet Magazine cover. First off, to any discerning Christian, this would tell it all right here. Goals off script with the new gospel? There is no new gospel. Matter of fact, any reference to a new gospel is blasphemy. Any believer in God's word should be able to decipher that. Let alone a bishop of a mega church of 30,000 members. If the gospel was truly his main point in life, as his role states it is, this could never happen. We can never forget what the Word of God states a bishop should be in Titus 1 and 2. Also, when a teacher of God's Word is said to have gone off script, this is what the definition of a false teacher is. Case is closed. The Christian community should now, more than ever, hold him accountable for all his teaching. The case should be closed. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt that he had no control of the cover. Let's examine what he talks about and promotes as a spiritual leader. When you see him on television, on Oprah's Life class, or other programming, he does not refer to the gospel at all. He doesn't even have a Bible. He talks as the guide itself, as the man of authority that has the answers. On Oprah's Life class, they even display his quotes with a resemblance of scripture formatting. In speaking engagements, he talks about the power of thinking and attitude, the power of the secret drive within. He does not even refer to the Holy Spirit. He does not even refer to the power of God. He refers to the power of being in everyone. It is extremely blasphemous doctrine that comes from a figure that we call Bishop T.D. Jakes.
His most recent book, Instinct, by itself should bring the point home about his false doctrine. Please read these descriptions. Ask yourself, how does God get the glory from this book? This book promotes power within. It promotes obtaining inner knowledge that you have not accessed yet. It promotes illumination. These are New Age philosophy teachings. He even sells a workbook to coincide with the book, and he markets it to Christians. Christians following this man and his doctrine are unknowingly accepting false doctrine and a conversion of their religion and beliefs. They are being exposed to such extreme false doctrine that they will inevitably not know the true God and what he desires for us. God does not want us to rely on ourselves. He wants us to rely on him, trust in him. The only way we are saved after death is through the belief in Christ. The only way to access the pleasures of our heart on earth is through the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit, not inner knowledge, that takes us to the next level and brings us peace. We just have to listen to it and understand God through his word, not through man. This is sound doctrine that a Christian leader should represent and teach in the very least. When you hear of Christian leaders and teachers avoid the Holy Spirit, you should avoid them. Lastly, many of you may say that this doesn't matter because you have never listened to T.D. Jakes, so it does not affect you. This is fine and a good thing that you have not been exposed to this false teacher, but you must love the rest that have been exposed. Help others break away from false doctrine and false teachers, leading them astray. There is no greater risk than for a believer to lose his crown and have Jesus say, I never knew you. Whether you're a believer or not a believer, please read this aloud and believe it. God, please forgive me for all my sins. I accept your gift of grace. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe he died and rose again for my sins. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please make me acceptable in your sight. Give me more discernment. I rebuke the devil and all spirits, principalities, and demons in the name of Jesus. I cast down all strongholds in the name of Jesus. Please renew me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.